So one of the things in hypnobirthing that's really, really important is decision making and making the right decisions for you, your family, your body, your baby. And there is a really handy little tool that you can use to make decisions and to help you kind of work out what is the right decision for you. The key thing here is getting all the information you need to be able to make an informed decision not just knowing what those options are and picking one of them, it's important that you understand what those options entail and be able to kind of work through that information and feel like, okay, I, I understand this now and so this is the option that I would pick and I know what that will mean going forward as well. And the way we do this is with a cheeky little acronym um, that is BRAIN. Um, and what we will do is we will talk you through what um, each of those letters stand for and how you use them. So the first letter is B for BRAIN. B. There's a little spelling lesson while we're here. <laughs> Um, and B stands for benefits. So if something is offered to you, what will be the benefits of doing that thing? The benefits to you, the benefits to your baby, what are the benefits? And that could be, I'm being offered induction. What are the benefits to that? I'm being told I don't need an induction. What are the benefits to that? It absolutely applies to everything. Next, we've got R, and R is risk. So what are the risks that come with what is being offered to you? What are the risks of saying yes to that? What are the risks of saying no to that? And that should be told to you in an unbiased way with evidence produced as well at the same time. And that is the risks to yourself and the risks to your baby. And it's important that you know those things to be able to really make an informed decision about whether you want to go forth with what's being suggested or not. And the next one is A for alternatives. What are the alternatives to what's being suggested? Now, once you know what those alternatives are, you also will need to use your BRAIN acronym to go through and find out the benefits and the risks of those procedures as well. Um, now, alternatives could be something different. That is, maybe an intervention has been suggested and there might be a different alternative. Um, it might be that the alternative is actually waiting. Um, it might be that the alternative is not doing anything, but there needs to be a discussion around what all the options are so that you know exactly what it is that's being offered. And the reason that it's important that you ask this is because often it's not willingly given to you. People have a set preference of what they prefer to do. And so that's likely to be what you are told when actually there are alternatives to everything. If we don't know what they are, we can't make our informed decisions. So it's really important that we do ask that question. Alternatives can sometimes not be offered because of time constraints mm. as well. If you're in short appointments and things like that, sometimes they're not offered up just purely because they're kind of used to offering up what the guidelines say and not really discussing what those alternatives are. So you may have to ask for those specifically and it's important that you do. So the next one is instinct. What is your instinct saying so, so often as people who are living now we don't trust our instincts we kind of you know shrug it off as a, it's, I, don't, I can't trust my instincts actually they really really do play a massive part in making decisions like if something is offered to you is your immediate reaction like yes thank god that's exactly what i need if so that's your instinct kind of kicking in and telling you that is your instinct when someone says let's try this i think that's a bit hasty i'm not sure about that that's your instinct again telling you how it is feeling we should learn to trust our gut a little bit more and i'm not saying just alone but when you use your gut instinct with the other parts of the brain acronym then you can really pull a good picture together about what it is that you want to do in that situation it's important that you get used to trusting that instinct because that really will help you when your child is here. Yeah. Kind of just that instinct of whether they're okay, when mm -hmm. they are feeling unwell, when they've got symptoms of things, it is really useful. And we do need to have a bit of practice doing it because it is something that we don't necessarily do anymore. But if you think, fucking hell, that's <laughs> a bit much, then the chances are that it might You're be a probably bit much. okay to yeah. perhaps try something different or it's maybe not as much of a rush as it's being put, a, put across to you. So listen to that instinct because actually what we find so much of the time is that those that are having babies are actually the first person to 
notice if there is something to worry about. So often they just get that feeling, that instinct that something isn't quite right. And if you haven't experienced that, then it can be hard to kind of think about how your instinct might be telling you something. But your instinct often is pretty spot Strong. on. So the next one is N for nothing. Nada. What happens <laughs> if you do nothing? Now that might be what happens if you do nothing at all? What happens if you do nothing for a couple of hours? What happens if you do nothing until X? After the weekend, yeah. if this is being suggested to you on Friday. Um, often we can wait to intervene. We can wait for things like inductions. We can wait for tests and things like that. What would happen if you do nothing? And then we talk through again the possibilities of what would happen. Maybe it is a screening test that you're being offered and you don't feel that there'd be much benefit to that. And what would happen if you did nothing would be really not a lot. Yeah. In which case you might feel that you are then able to go along with your gut instinct and say, I don't really need that. Or it might be that the consequences of doing nothing are that something is quite likely to occur and that makes you think actually I'd like to go ahead yeah. with what's suggested. And it's important to think about how you feel when you're discussing what would happen if you did nothing in that circumstance. And you kind of have to do the benefits and risks of that bit again. So you do nothing. OK, well, what are the benefits of doing nothing? What are the risks of doing nothing? And you kind of go back through your acronym again. Um, but it's why it can be so, so helpful. The BRAIN acronym is a really good thing to learn, write it down, take it with you, use it in your appointments, use it on phone appointments, face-to-face -face appointments. Like having that, those prompts can really help you gather all of the information. And again, you don't have to have all that information and make that decision there and then. Part of that acronym could be, okay, have I got time to go away now and think about everything that you've told me? is that all right? And if the answer is yes, then great. If the answer is no, then why? Again, it's asking these questions and almost choosing your brain acronym. Well, what are the benefits of me going away and thinking about this? What are the risks if I don't do this right now? It is, it's almost like a bit of a continuous loop of using it, but yeah. it works and it means that you are fully informed and you know all the shit that is going on. It's really good for an information gathering tool. Mm. It might be that you write that on a notebook, take it into your appointment, and that's the kind of framework that you use when seeking information so that you're not in that place where you come away from your appointment and think, fuck, why didn't I ask about that? Or I meant to ask about that. It's just a really simple way that you can look through and ask these questions, write it down, and then go and process that information in the future. So... Make sure you've got it, take it with you, because it will help. If you like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. Come and subscribe to our channel for more of this good shit. Come and follow us on the gram, which is at The Birth Uprising. We share loads of tidbits on there. And come back soon. Bye.